Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on the Hunter Colour Wild, we're here at Tiawara National Park and something very special has just spawned. I wasn't even going to hunt today because it's so hot. It's 27 degrees at my PC, I'm sweating. And I thought, you know what, we'll have the day off. But I thought it's Friday, I like to do a video on Friday. I don't like letting my viewers down. So I thought, we'll get grinding, see what happens. And something very special has just happened. Can't believe it. Also, we're going to be talking about the new community weapon pack. Second vote poll has just finished. So we've got results of that. So we can go over the details of that as well as we're hunting. But uh, let's get straight into it. Now... If you've been watching my videos recently, I've been hammering out the great ones at Tiawara National Park. It's been amazing. My herd management is right at the end with fallows and red deers. And we've had been just been having great spawns, basically, generally. And um, I thought we've been killing great ones, great ones, great ones, great ones. And I had one left on my map, which is still there. I didn't want to kill him. I thought we'll leave him there. As I said in my previous video, when we've got the last great one, uh, just in case something special spawns because he's on the map. And I've just been grinding now for about a couple of hours and something very special has happened. <laughs> Can't believe it. I was hoping it would, but I didn't think it would do. And it spawned just in this location here at the top right hand corner. Now on my last run, I shot two level fours and a troll level five um just near where my pointer is and uh, then i've just come back again reset the time just walked down looked over at the lake because this is one of my favorite lakes and there is a very special fallow deer let's just say that i have got a great one still alive at this location as well we might check him out at the end of the video uh depends what time the drinking zone is when we finish but uh today is all about the brand new special trophy deer we're going to see in a minute also today there's lots to talk about um the tents the tent changes that are coming soon we don't know when the patch update is going to come but there's quite a few changes and updates but everyone knows about these tents or you will do if you're watching this and you didn't know before uh, they're going to change how the tents are when you spawn in on them it was too easy with tigers you was dropping straight in on tigers and literally outside your tent tiger up there that's going to be different uh, how you hunt them. But some people are like, the spook range is going to change. Now, it's suggested it could be up to 250 meters. We'll see how it comes uh, to be when the patch is out. But uh, let me know what you think about the new tent changes. Now, as an avid Bengal tiger hunter at Sunder Park in Nepal, I've been just grinding tigers and having lots of fun. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how it affects tigers, especially with the new tent changes, because, you know, I don't think you're meant to just drop straight on them like we have been doing. And um, so it'll be interesting to see how that works out. But I'm not really bothered about that. I just love hunting tigers. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. And uh, just to reiterate again, there is no official release date for this yet. Uh, that's not been announced. So whatever you see anywhere, there's no official release date for that. But I would expect it quite soon. So this is the lake where we're at. Where the special fallow deer has spawned today. It's one of my favorite lakes. You probably know it well. When you start out initially, uh, these two lakes are absolutely full of fallow deer. Uh, this is one of my favorite lakes and uh, one I keep with all my really good spawns on. And he spawned over the other side. You might be able to see a little bit of an animal in the background. I'm not going to zoom in too soon. But when you see it, you'll see what I mean. It is a potential super rare fallow deer now look at the estimate that could be a super rare troll it could be a super rare diamond piebald fallow deer now i haven't got a diamond piebald fallow deer i've got a super rare melanistic fallow deer but i haven't got a piebald version so this is one of my most wanted trophies which i've been trying to get here goes so it is down we could fast travel to the tent, but I'm just going to take my time and walk round, compose myself. <laughs> and while we walk round, let's talk about the new community web pack vote 
to the poll two has just finished so let's get on to the results the winners have been chosen and our team cannot wait to bring those weapons into the game keep an eye on our channels in the future for special production updates here are the winners so the 375 h&h magnum bolt action rifle wooden stock 24 inch barrel length 44.5 overall length and four round magazine one for the 375 let me know what you think about that for the Bushmaster, the 450 Bushmaster bolt action rifle synthetic stock, 20 inch barrel length, 40.25 overall length, and five round magazine one for that. Now for the 300 Blackout, the bolt action rifle synthetic stock, 16.25 barrel length, 36.5 overall length, 11 round magazine, which is clamped to six. So they're the winners. Let me know what you think all about it. Is it super rare? It's one of the best looking piebald animals you can get in the Hunter Call of Wild. I've been wanting one of these since I've been playing the Hunter Call of Wild. Is it a super rare? Yes! <laughs> it's made it. It's made it. I was not sure. But often with piebald fallows, when uh, they're near the trophy estimate at level 5, they often do make it. So I was so happy to see that. <laughs> You never know when my heart was beating, but that is one of the most stunning looking piebald animals in the Hunt Colour Wild. What a beauty. Nice clean shot. And uh, there we go. So we've got a super rare diamond piebald fallow deer. Another great addition. I'm loving that great one on my map. I don't want to kill him now. <laughs> it's like my lucky omen at the minute. So I do not want to kill him. So I, I think I'm going to leave him alive for a bit. I was going to kill him on Sunday, but uh, I don't know what to do now. I'm going to take a few pictures of this beautiful Super Rare Piebald Fallow Deer. But uh, I don't know what to do. Should I leave him alive? I don't know. He's been so good to me. <laughs> He's bringing all the luck. I don't want to take him out. But yeah, I'm absolutely amazed, buzzing. This has made my weekend because, like I say, today I wasn't going to do a video. It's so goddamn hot here at the minute. Uh, I literally melting, sweat running down there. I thought... I'm not going on the PC today. I'm not even playing nothing. I'm just going to chill, relax. It's too hot. And then I got bored and I don't like to not do anything. I, I like to be productive. Uh, I don't like to just sit doing nothing. So I thought, no, we'll get on with summer and see what happens. And that's the thing. Fortune favours the brave, they say, don't they? So uh, if you've got something to do or you think about doing it, just go and do it. And uh, that's what happens. The look for uh, favours the brave. Uh, so have a go at it whatever you want to do and uh, that's how it works out not all the time but it's good to make the effort right on to where we're going to take him to so i really don't know where to put him i'm sort of struggling so seeky swai trophy lodge my main one is literally full of trophies we'll have a quick look around quite a few people have said can you do a full trophy lodge tour we could do that but we'll have a quick look at some of my special trophies right now so these are great ones most rooms have got something special in uh super rare access there up there that's a pie bold as well so we've got quite a few super rares in here and in uh spring creek manor but the room in sasiki sorry trophy lodge is pretty full up so uh i don't know where to stick the super rare fallow deer that's a problem i'm getting to a stage now where everything is sort of something i want to be where it is so it's hard to upgrade it and they're all diamonds or rares or super rares or great ones now so uh, each time to upgrade another trophy is getting really hard to do and uh, we're running out of space especially at Sasiki Spy Trophy Lodge so uh, I don't know what to do and where to stick him but we'll have a look at some of the super rares already in here and great ones just while we're on a sort of mini trophy lodge tour we'll go down here i've got another super rare fallow deer in this location and some more super rares uh there's a goose a special one but in this room here which is mainly bears um we've got a special super rare here that's one of my favorites because i was moose hunting i didn't even know that was my map imagine moose hunting for nearly a year on a map not knowing there was a super rare there and i kept passing by it and then it actually i spotted it <laughs> but look at that Super rare melanistic diamond fallow deer. One of my favourite trophies. 
it. It would be nice to stick him in here, but there's no room. I've got that arrow on it. We're going to go into the other room where there's lots of great ones. I've got another super rare in this albino room over here. Lots of different varieties of animals. I set this up ages ago. I could upgrade it. I've got quite a few better albinos, actually, but I haven't added them to here recently. But there you go. Super rare diamond albino turkey. So I've got some very special trophies and it's getting harder and harder to upgrade each time. But in this room I've been doing quite a bit of work recently, adding two Huddle Fallow Deer Great One um, Huddles as you can see. And some of these have been really recent, especially this uh, grouping. But yeah, that, that lucky Great One we've got on the map at the minute, I don't want to kill him. And uh, I need to come up with something else for Sunday because I want to keep him alive a bit yet. And I've done it again. I've come to this one thinking I can put one single fallow deer on it. And we can't. I was thinking we could put him in the corner with his fallow deer brothers. But he doesn't fit there. So we're going to have to go to Spring Creek Manor and see if there's any room there. I've got a good idea we could stick it. But I thought we'd have a look at some of those super rares I've got already. In Tzatziki's Wild Tree for large and great ones. And we've got lots of great ones here as well. As you can see with red deers. I've got quite a few red deer great ones in here. And super rares. Is a super rare leucistic black book. Got another one in the room just around the corner, but that's a super rare melanistic black book. I want a full body mount really for this super rare piebald. I don't want to stick it on just a normal trophy mount. It deserves better than that. But it's just finding the room to stick him on. Some more great one red deers. I'm tempted to put him here, but I don't want to remove that legacy. Uh, max scoring puma so we might stick him upstairs if we can find somewhere up there it's a nice conundrum to have isn't it <laughs> that your trophy lodges are full of all special trophies but you just don't know which one to remove so it is getting hard now here's our latest great one fellow what a combination of rack and fur albino root but uh We'll stick him in this room over here. I know there is one spot spare. I did have a diamond moose here. So we'll remove that. And we're going to stick him in this location. But what a great start to the weekend. I must say. I'm absolutely buzzing. And it just shows you. Sometimes you feel like not playing. And sometimes it's worth just like having a little go on it. Because you never know what's going to happen. That's a great thing in the Hunter Games. The next trophy deer. Next trophy animal you spot could be your most wanted trophy animal and that's what keeps us playing all the time <laughs> even though when you think i should have a break or oh i played a lot or this or that he just keeps you going because you know that, that special trophy animal could just be right in the corner it could be the very next one you see so i'm Robert tube what a start to the weekend i hope you have a great weekend too i've been playing on a call of wild what a day we've ended up with a super rare diamond piebald fallow deer another great trophy to my trophy lodgers we might shoot another great one at the weekend i'll see if i can get something special for you again it's hard to pull it off every time but i'm Robert Chu. please subscribe to our youtube channels and thanks for watching bye bye